glad you're with us on this Wednesday edition of Take 5 at the Journey. I'd like to share this scripture with you is Job 31.1. He makes this statement. He said, I've made a covenant with my eyes. When should I look upon a young woman? And what it's actually saying here is Job said, I'm not going to take the second look at a young woman. I'm not going to get into lust. I'm going to make a covenant with my eyes that I'm not going to look at her. You know, um, all of us are tempted. All of us are visual. We're, we see things in pictures. Like if I say this to you, red apple, immediately in your mind, you see a red apple. If I say the word elephant, you see an elephant. And so we are very uh, as creatures of the way God made us, he gave us an imagination. And, you know, really our minds are, are set just to be so visual. And many times we think one look won't be bad. Or you just keep on looking at something, ladies, that's at the mall. You want this coach purse. And you know what? You don't have the budget for that. It may be a $600 purse, but you just keep on looking at it and looking at it, looking at it. Before long, you know what you're going to do? You're going to pull out that shiny little card in your purse and you're going to throw it right down and take that coach purse home. And you know why? It's because we, when we continue to look, we want to look at good things. You think about David. David wasn't in battle. He, he went out side of his palace, looked down, he saw Bathsheba taking a bath. You know what? He was tempted, no sin, but you know what? He fixed his eyes upon her. Next thing you know, he's committing adultery, murder, lying, stealing, everything. He's broke all the Ten Commandments by the time that he gets through. It wasn't the first look. It was the continual look. And what Job's saying is, I I want my eyes, my, you know, we have the ear gates, the eye gates, the mouth gates. That's what, where we allow things to enter into our life. And so we, we've got to be very discerning on what we're looking at, what we're listening to, and what we're saying. And so those things are very vital in keeping strong with God. I want to encourage you today, make an oath with God. God, I want my eyes, my eye gates to be pure and holy. I don't want to take the second look. I'm going to do it. I just believe for strength from you. Well, I love you. I want you to say to yourself this day, God is a good God and the devil's a bad devil.